here. Okay, and Travis is excused, right? Okay. Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, consent agenda. Any additions, corrections? You do have an updated treasury report. We did have a check that we had to void. Um, so I had to remove that from the expenditure, so your treasury report just had one little change on it. Anything else? Need a motion to approve that with that correction. So, so moved. Second. A motion is second. Doug? Aye. John? Aye. Stephanie? Aye. Nathan? Aye. Okay, public input. This is time for anybody who wishes to talk about something that isn't on the agenda. You have five minutes. Right? What? Nothing wrong. I just wondered, wasn't it five minutes? Oh. Yeah. I've never said that before, so I didn't know for sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, presentation of the BE Lisbon Award. We had the contest for the BE Lisbon, and the winners were Casey and Lynn Kral. They are going to um, renovate the Budget Lines building that they own once Budget Lines has um, moved to their new location. And um, I was supposed to have a big check from Joe, but I didn't get that. So we still would like them to come up. It's not called Budget Blind, it's called the headquarters. <laughs> the headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys heard it from the headquarters. Well. All right. <laughs> so, Pearl, if you can. Stand or if you can come down here, whatever you prefer to do. That's we'll you guys there. come up here. I'll come up there. Oh, that way Margaret has a hard time taking a picture. Oh. She'll figure it out. Okay, what are you going to do? I'm just going to stand by you and smile. Uh, I don't mean that. So. Oh. You, what are you going to do with the You'll building? Explain oh. what you're going to do with the oh. building, yes. Um, so I have a photography business. Oh, you are? And mm -hmm. I'm going to have a studio in there, but then also have an area for some retail. Okay. So. And what are you going to do with the front windows? Um, we're going to make the windows bigger. Okay, and so I think that box is still in there. Take the siding off and, yeah. Yeah. Because so. they were always went to the ground, you know. Yeah, so. yeah, because you were in that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 So. Okay, well, good for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. And you want to introduce your children. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, oh. so if they're going to be downtown. Oh, yeah. Well, it's and I'm going to be sitting on the chair, <coughs> so. According to them, it's their uh, headquarters. Headquarters. That's cute, though. Headshots, headquarters. That'll be cute. So, well, get us all? good luck. Back there, put your hand on here. Yeah, that was pretty good. First camera. I am. I've seen if anybody had any money for him. Good smile. Okay. Ready? Yes, yeah, smile. Look at the camera. Smile, <laughs> good for you guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And are you still on the CDG? Yes. <laughs> good. Okay. Thank you, guys. Yeah, well, thank you. For yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Very excited. We uh, kind of, Budget Lines just out of there. We went down to the first time on Friday and kind of started our plan and uh, a lot of things ahead of us, but I hope you do it Good for you. Thank you again. Congrats. Thank you. He's not very excited, is he? <laughs> okay, we'll see you at bedtime. Huh? Yeah. Uh huh. History Center door. We talked about this at the last meeting and decided to table it. Um, Travis has been working on getting some more information on that, but I did get a call from Historic Preservation. They asked if we would delay it again because they have received that grant and they have a historic building. Um, specialist that's coming to look at that wall and the uh, library and as well as the barns. Um, Travis talked to Eric and the reason that Eric was, they wanted to get it done is because it does le leak a lot of um, cold air so they're having higher heating bills. 
So we really don't want to prolong it too, too awful much, but they asked me to present tonight to ask for if you guys would consider tabling it until after the other inspection is done by the historic. When is that? It's supposed to be in December. December. Mm -hmm. That they're coming? It's supposed to come this oh, week. Oh, this is yeah. December. Duh. Okay. So I told them I would ask for your input on what you guys wanted to do. Well, what did Eric want to do? Did he want to, was he okay with us tabling it until after the inspection or did he want it? I didn't get that opinion from him that he was okay with it. So it does leak a lot of, yeah, a lot of cold air. And um, they'll be closed quite a while during now. During December? You know, they'll close. Is I there don't a know. way that we could like yeah. tape yeah, it I up? Could, or? I mean, I could put insulation. They've got the trim off of it, so we could temporarily put some insulation around the outside of it. Or the, the inside, but the outside of the door frame mm -hmm. to try to help that if you guys would like to wait. I mean, we could look at plaques, putting plastic up on it too, like you do for your windows. Yeah. But just, they would have to be closed because they do need that second exit for. Emergency yes. Isn't there an exit in the back, very back? No. Uh, they've, got, uh, they've got stuff in front of that door. So are they closed from now until after the holidays? They can't possibly be because they have something oh, going no, on. No, no, no. It doesn't close until 15th or 16th or yeah, something Yeah, next like weekend that. they have events. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. so I mean, how hard would it be to move the stuff out back and then just close this one off for, for a time to get so they have a I, second exit? I mean, I'd have to talk to them. I don't. Yeah. So that, was in there for five minutes to look at the door. They can hang a bank a blanket up there like we did last year. Okay, so you the opinion is for to wait until after that inspection. Okay. Okay, moving on. Approval of code to rebuild sewer pump. I'll let Travis take this one. So we put this on here. Um, basically, I wanted to explain that this was at the sewer plant. It wasn't part of the lift station that we spent the money on to rebuild. Um, we have three pumps that are in circulation that run 24-7 down there. Um, what we normally do is take one pump out and recirculate. You know, it'll stay on our shelf as uh, just in case one goes bad. Well, that pump that we had sitting on our shelf was one that they rebuilt, and when they put that in, Oh dear. It, it seal, one of the seals failed um, just from sitting. It's a warranty deal. It's, they're, they're taking care of it. But this other pump that we need to fix was the one that when we were doing our inspection and our um, yearly maintenance on it, we realized that this one was worn and bad too. So we got to get this one fixed. So even though it's under my $5,000 max that I can approve, we still just wanted to bring it to your attention and explain to you so people aren't confused that we just replaced pumps, but those were at the lift station, not for different ones. So we just wanted to make, clarify that with you guys. Motion to approve. Second. Motion is second. Eight. Aye. Stephanie. Aye. John. Aye. Doug. Aye. Okay. Approval of final payment for housing rehab in the amount of $5,888.40. We approved a big chunk of this at the last meeting and now they have finished the rehab project so we're ready to finalize it and submit our request for reimbursement. Need a motion for that. So moved. Motion. Do we have a second? Second. Motion and a second. Nate? Aye. Stephanie? Aye. John? Aye. Doug? Aye. Um, possible second reading of ordinance 06 2019 parking regulations. We approved the first reading at the last meeting with the changes that we made where we uh, eliminated the number 19 and then we added um, no overnight parking. Move to approve second reading. We have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, Doug. Aye. John. Aye. Stephanie. Aye. Nate. Aye. Uh, reset a public hearing for water and sewer rates increase in de to December 23rd, 2019. Motion to approve the reset of the date. Second. Okay, and all right. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Reset public hearing for budget amendment to December 23rd. 
this was my fault, sorry. Um, we approved the budget amendment at the last meeting, but we did not open and close the public hearing. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't catch it, <laughs> my bad, I'm sorry. So we have to rehold the public hearing and open and close it and approve it at the 23rd. All right, motion okay. to set the public hearing for the 23rd. See what happens when Second. we try to go so fast? <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Reset. No. Uh, just set. No, set, set public case, hearing yeah. for Gillette Lane Trail project for December 23rd. Travis and Dave and I talked at the last after the last meeting, and it's a real slow time for construction companies right now. So Dave thought that it might be a good time to go out to rebid the Gillette Trail project. That way, people can get it on their schedule and be able to start right away in the spring. So we're going to give it a shot. Um, so we just need to, he got, he's got the bids out there to the different companies and we just need to set a public hearing to go over that. We will be setting it for the 23rd. Okay. Uh, motion to set it for the 23rd. Second. We have motion and second. Is this on the, tell me where it's going. So um, from Main Street to Highway to Business 30 along Gillette, right by the nursing home. The new sidewalk. The new sidewalk. Yeah, okay. Sized. Uh, let's see, we already did that. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 New business, capital improvement plan. I did send out um, a packet to all of you guys this last week. Hopefully you all got it. It's um, all the information that I've gotten from all the different departments and the different um, commissions or boards with the information on their wish list. I told them to just put everything you know and then you guys would rank them according to your highest priority and then once we get those we can start gathering information on the cost of the projects how, how they could be funded in that so if you look for that in, in the mail look for the sheet with the priority and get that to me as soon as you can so I can we can start moving it's it's just something that we need to do in conjunction with the new budget which is coming real fast so I would like to our highest priority ones I would like to get those in the next next budget if, if we need to put any of them in the next budget otherwise they'll be sometime in the next five to ten years I'm sure you'll do a good job on that okay did anybody not get theirs Everybody got it? I never looked. I don't know if I sent one to you or not. That's, that's okay. I'll find like it. That. Oh, we got it in the mail? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't get so one of those. We never get any mail. <laughs> that's okay. I'll, that's so, okay. We, w we will start on that discussion on that again at the next meeting. Okay. Any correspondence? Uh, I just had one letter from a a resident that, not a resident, of, I guess he's a Mount Vernon resident that um, wanted to thank Lisbon for the police department and the fire department and ambulance for helping them. So he just wanted you guys to know that he appreciates that and they did a great job. Which they do. Okay. City engineer report. Dave is not here tonight. He had another obligation, but I'm sure Travis will cover whatever he needed to. Okay, Travis, you're up. Uh, pretty much Dave and I, everything discussed, we're working on, you guys know about for now. Um, the only thing we're working on in Public Works is we're going around with our leaf back still, but we're only concentrating on our storm intakes and the curb and gutter portion. So if people get upset, I mean, if there's a pile there, and it's, we can get it, we will, but it's not, we're not meant to be out picking up leaves. Did we get all the leaves picked up? Okay. We highlight every day when we go down the street, we highlight it on our actually city size map and we go through and if it takes us three days to get through the town or three weeks, I mean it's down to almost down to the minute like where we were. Yeah, the maps help Christina and I when we get calls so we can look at the highlighted thing. It's like, no, we've already been down that street. You're gonna have to wait till the next time. But if you know, if the guys do have time within that time period, they go back. But How long has it been taken? It took us this last time, just Main Street to get from down and back, took us four and a half hours. So we're between Main Street and Washington. Uh, I think she's talking about leaf pick. Yeah, I am yeah, talking about leaf pick. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, I'm just telling you just that one street. You're saying one street was four and a half hours. Yeah, so it depends on the leaves. Um, earlier in the fall wasn't that long. Um, you're 
you're all of a week. And part of the problem is... And it's three of you? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's been taking at least four days to do the city. So. Good idea. Because that's a... I don't know now, but I mean, last year... Did we even get picked up last year? We didn't, did we? Yeah, we did yeah. several times. Uh, then you you have neighbors last year was a little smoother because yeah. they didn't yeah. come all at once. Once, yeah, yeah. that's the problem is it came all at once and then yeah. they kind of froze and when they freeze, that's just an aluminum impeller inside that and it's not worth damaging the unit to run frozen like Ice through it. Through it. Yeah. So, good job, guys. Neighbors park in front of other neighbors' piles. We document that too. That way if they call, we, we know, yeah, right, there was it. We couldn't get to it. We'll, swing by so is there anything we could do to make it more efficient for you guys or the only sometimes they don't rake it out far enough if, if we have three guys on we can go closer to the sidewalk but if we only have days that we have like if Nate has to be helping him at the sewer plant and we only have two guys on that thing only reaches so far so we did get a few people that were angry because we left a little row but what we did is when we had three guys, we came back. And we had a couple people that were nice enough to come out with their rake and rake it to us. But they just need to understand that it only reaches so far. So if their leaves are clear up to the sidewalk or past the sidewalk, sometimes we have to come back and get it. And like in Washington, I mean, that's 25 feet between curb and mm -hmm. sidewalk. So, I mean, we're there. And there's a lot of trees on that too, so don't get me wrong, I understand. But sometimes it's easier for them instead of putting all their leaves in a, one big pile it's easier if they would do Long a roll row, yeah, all the way down their curb because then we can set and go. But like I said, no, I we we've got it down pretty you know, as smooth as we can. I mean, what about from a city council standpoint? Is there anything that we could do or you need that would make it more efficient? Um, here you got rakes. <laughs> I was going to say volunteer. <laughs> <to help. laughs> I knew he was going to. Uh, we've we've talked about a headset, um, just so the driver can talk to the guy in the back of the loop machine. Um, just when there's two guys, it's easier. That I know they would appreciate that. Um, the other thing is, I, I mean, that's I was going to look with 4L um, when we dumped the leaves. The top of the box doesn't open, so if you overfill it, you're actually there trying to dig it out. Um, if we can find a way to make that hinge, that would speed that process up. But I mean, we've got the the vac we have is fantastic. Um, the truck that we have is is good. I mean, so there's it's just a manpower thing. Well, have you looked into the headset thing? This sounds like a pretty good idea. Well, it's expensive. <laughs> That's oh, it why. is. Yeah. Okay. What did they say it was? You remember? It was. It was pretty pricey. So why? Actually. It's not just a walkie-talkie set or something. No, because like it's got to be noise deadening. Um, the, you're sitting right by the diesel engine here. Yeah, but I mean, you can buy. It would buy probably be a good idea for the person sitting out there anyway, because right. it's allowed. Just equipment. to have. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. can buy those noise canceling headsets for. And you got to have frequency too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how much was it? It was. I can't remember. I don't. I don't want to throw a number out there. Uh, I really seems think. like it was sixteen, seventeen hundred, or yeah, something. Yeah, and I don't want to. Wow. Okay. How much you say? Sixteen or seventeen hundred dollars. Is it in? Oh my. Is that one of the things that you put in your budget? Yeah, it's. It was one that we've talked about in the budget. Um, I did not put it on my. Did you put it on your CIP? No. We can add it to the CIP. Does any is there any other alternative communication methods that are commonly used for this kind of work? Is there a keypad, a lever, a? <laughs> no, because I thought about a horn system. Flags. <laughs> but, like well, I said, when there's three guys, it's it's generally, <laughs> it's it's not that that big of a deal because okay. the guy standing out. The guy driving can see him. Can see and he can yeah. do the yeah. Yeah, and you don't have to be so precise. It's just you know the, when there's only two of them going, like this we you know we had brush pickup and leaf pickup run coincide. So mm. two of us were doing one and the other two were doing the other. So I would say that if you I don't know how loud it is, but if you think it is something that could damage one of the workers or something like that we probably should think about should sooner be. rather than later because we wouldn't want to have that come back on well, us. I mean, we well they probably have the ppe yeah. but they don't yeah. have We've they just don't have communication so you do have hearing protection yeah. out there yeah, yeah yeah we got hearing protection it's not communication we just have no communication okay yeah okay 
Well, you guys need to take care of that sometime next year. Um, anything else? Okay. Amy, do you have a report? Uh, okay. And anything from the fire department? Nope. Your report? I just have a couple of things. I uh, just wanted to thank everybody who attended Burl's reception yesterday. I think we had a good time. And sure did. Thank her again for all of her service. Um, remind everybody that ho Holiday Jubilee is this Saturday. They will be having the parade at 3 o'clock. There is activities, a breakfast at the History Center, um, events at Southeast Land and at the Library and Heritage Hall. And again, to make sure you mark your calendar for January 16th, we will be have, having the public meeting or open house to go over our future land use plan, the sports complex, and the nature park. Um, EC Cog is going to be here to facilitate the event. Who is? EC Cog. Oh. Chad. Um, I will be posting it as a council meeting, a park and rec meeting, and a planning and zoning meeting, just so um, everybody that's going to be here. Um, and our civil engineers will be here to answer any questions. So it's going to be a good event. We'll be um, putting an ad in the paper for a couple weeks um, and also sending out invitations in the mail to all the residents so we can get as much input as we, as we can. I, I've been out of for a while, but I would think you'll have a big crowd. I have so many people ask me stuff and I don't even know what's going on. Yeah, so. That's good. That's, what, that's why we're having it. Yeah, good idea. That's all I have. You want to talk to them about the tree? Okay, mayor's report. Oh, one more thing, the downtown tree. Yeah. Okay, the, the, Travis and I wanted to talk to you about the tree that's at the gazebo downtown. It's an evergreen tree that was planted years ago, but it's not the kind of evergreen tree that's hardy enough to really do anything with. It had a shrub tree that was growing up the middle of it. We removed that shrub tree and it looks like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree now. What we would like to do is um, remove that tree and use funds out of the next tree grant to plant a new hardy blue spruce or maybe John can recommend a different type of evergreen or spruce so we can get it growing so it'll be there in the future. And we can decorate. Um, something yeah. that we can actually decorate and make presentable. We try to put lights on it and the the leaves are so, not leaves, or branches, branches are so fine that they just sag down and all the lights slide right off. So there's not much we can do with it. We did go, I had Travis go get a real tree this year and we put it inside the gazebo. It looks beautiful. So we can use it for the event this weekend. Um, Park and Rec's gonna have a tree lighting and tree decorating activity. So we've got that ready to go. But um, so that is our plan. I did check with some people to make sure it wasn't a memorial tree, but um, Burl and Luann both told me that it was just planted. Um, it was planted the against the committee's wishes. wishes. Okay. Yeah. So, but we would like to, like I said, plant something that would, would sit, suit the situation a little bit better. But that wouldn't happen like till spring, right? No, probably not. Huh? That's why we went with the other tree. In the That's why we got the other tree to make. And it wasn't, I mean, it was a sucker tree growing up out of there. And it's not like we went and said, hey, we want to cut this off today. No, that blew over in one of the storms this summer. We cleaned it up, hoping that some new branches would sprout off. And nothing did sprout off. So I doubt there's going to be any growth coming from this. John, I think we missed the deadline for the spring um, tree grant, didn't we? We've only been doing one a year now instead of two. Yeah, but they, I mean, well, they offer two, but point is, I thought it was December one or. That one's already gone in. Yeah, so we've already had one. So in. the next opportunity would be the fall grant. Yeah. We don't want to yeah. wait that long necessarily. Well, we can still. We can just, we can can just still take slip. it out of budget or something. Yeah, I was going to say, why don't we just see how much, why don't you get We have money on left that. from this year's that wasn't used yet. Um, so we, we have a little bit left there, but I think what we can do with next year's is we can switch out a, they've been pretty lenient with us, like if we, if yeah. we couldn't get a certain type of tree, they would let us get a, another one, so okay. I think we can figure it out somehow, and I have talked to Robert and Marianne and a few other yeah. people on the tree board. Especially for something that, you know, the whole public's going to be Public able to enjoy, yeah. wouldn't it be like this, I, I feel like they're going to be more inept to to work with us. So, so we probably want, probably want to do that in the spring then. Yeah. Get yeah. that one cut down, spade it out of there, put one in. Yep. So yeah. we're hoping to get as big as we can spade, possibly Yeah, get. spade in a good sized one. Yeah. 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 yeah, and that was the problem that we had that this, I don't even know if we're supposed to plant one there. But anyway, when they planted it, got big and guess what? 
It hit the gazebo. I mean, if it had gotten big and stuff like that. So that was a real. Yeah, I'd say let's look into it and uh, yeah. get it scheduled for spring. Yep. Okay. Anything else? That's it. Okay, my report. As Connie said, I was, I was, um, well, I can't, I'm not supposed to cry. I get mad when I cry. Anyway, care if Doug gets mad, you do whatever you need to. Right. <laughs> anyway, I mean, a real nice uh, welcome and everything. The food was great. Uh, I had never eaten Doug's baked beans, but they were out of this world. I I got the recipe this morning. Well, my husband liked them too. So yeah, I was surprised, but it was very very nice. And then made sad. With love. You what? They're made Aww. with love. <laughs> That's the main ingredient. Yeah. Should and I then put that in the minutes. <laughs> Doug makes his baked beans with love. Saturday night we had an um, employee party, which was very nice too. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. So and I was able to go to both of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was depressed because I didn't know about either thing. You did? Mm -mm. Oh, that's too bad. I handed out flyers. Yeah. That's a it's a little late now. <laughs> and all we talked about at that one was impeaching Doug. Yeah. Dang it, tough. I missed all the good stuff. Uh, yeah, that wasn't tough. It wasn't it? Yeah. So and we I had fun. And I'm pretty that sure they have to wait till he's actually mayor before. Would that be a first? I'm pretty sure Probably, Saturday yeah. night after the employee party that I got talked about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very, very nice. And I want to thank everybody, all the residents of Lisbon, uh, whether they like me or not. Uh, they've been great to work with, real great. And Connie, I've learned a lot from her. I never have figured out she really knows as much as she does. Or she's just <laughs> It's too late me. now. <laughs> Dang. But anyway, really enjoyed working with her. And I'll probably, I promised Margaret if I decide to run for mayor again, she'd be the first to know. <laughs> don't, don't get shook up that. After we impeach <laughs> Doug. <laughs> That'd be another eight years, I don't know. Okay, Doug, you're first. No, uh, nothing. John? Well, the Christmas Jubilee is coming up the 14th this Saturday, and there'll be a puppet show in Heritage Hall at 10 o'clock, and then a uh, holiday movie at Southeast Lynn at 1 o'clock. That's all I have. I do guess on Which movie? The Grinch. I know somebody that. I the don't. Grinch. The Grinch. The Grinch. Yeah. <laughs> Did we get July Lane done? We were going to haul rock or have somebody haul rock. We never got that done. So the got snow hit. Are we going to wait until spring, after spring? I assume that's what they're going to yep. do. Um, that's going to be my suggestion if they ever get back. This is north of Main Street? The gravel yeah. park. The gravel park. The gravel park. Yeah. Um, last thing I want to do is have the city pay to have a bunch of rock put down there and then we run yeah. plows right on it. Yeah. Don't get a chance to get it worked in. So. All right, I'm done now. Are you done? Stephanie? Uh, well, I know we touched on it last time about whether or not we're ready for you know highway 30 but i just wanted to know if there was any kind of update or dave is still working on it so he asked them for their notes that that they had to determine how they came up with the dollar amount and they said they did not have any notes it was just their engineers came up with a figure so dave is working working with them on our behalf and mount vernon's be behalf so he said he'll update us as soon as he hears back from them but he didn't have anything as of today okay you know, I don't know if that bypass is darker than Highway 30 when you come down that now or not, is it? Mm -hmm. Man. Very much so. I just thought maybe. Who do we who do we talk to about getting a light out there? About where? Where Highway 30, where the bypass yeah. comes to throw oh, to I, the 30. Oh, we talked about this at the last meeting. I've already contacted the DOT. They said they did not have it in the plans that we had to go to the county. So I did co contact Lynn County. Um, told them that the, the concern and that uh, residents are complaining and they were supposed to be checking into it and get back to me so I haven't heard anything yet but they said that they didn't and it wasn't their intent to, to put one there either but they're gonna look into it now that there's so, been complaints okay so since we've we've complained to the county and the state if someone gets killed there we're not responsible at all for that. it's not in city limits anyway I mean sooner or later it will be I mean but and I mean where you come up on the bypass, from not bypass to yeah, it was at Adams. I mm -hmm. not, it's Lisbon Road, isn't it? What's it called? Lisbon Boulevard. Lisbon Boulevard. Mm -hmm. 
when there's a car coming this way, there is no way there's good, they're going to have time to stop when somebody pulls out because yeah, they're going bad. 55 miles an hour. Yeah. We were just discussing that earlier at our earlier meeting, and it is it is bad. It comes up on you fast, and you don't realize it. And so right now, it's in Lynn County's hands it's whether they're going to put what they're one there or not. So I suggest anybody who's concerned keep calling them. The more calls they get, the more they're going to consider it. And I will keep pressing them too. Who do we call? Um, Lynn County. Could you draft Secondary something Roads? maybe from the whole council? Yeah. Sure can. From council the and police mayor. department, um, I'm actually Mount Vernon Police Department was one of the first ones that complained when they were over here doing rounds. They went out there and, and made t turned around to come back into town and they said they couldn't see anything. So, oh, yeah, sure, so if I you will. could draft a letter from the council and the mayor or whatever and then we could all sign it. Okay. Now, if there's help. anything we want to put on the website or any social media to. I mean, if the. Oops, if the newspaper could put it out there, maybe that would help, you know, for because I know you guys can put it on the website or whatever, too. But I mean, just as many people, I mean, not only so that they call and let it, you know, let their request or whatever, but also just so that they're aware that it is a problem and they just need to be a little bit more diligent out there. Yeah, because uh, we're, we're the ones that get the phone calls and the people talking to you, you need a light out there. Yeah, I mean, and, and we can't do anything. We, about it. we, we agree with you, but it's. No, I mean, we can't just put one out there. Right. Right. But it also comes down to paying attention. They said two cars going down the eastbound lanes at 5 o'clock to semi in a car because um, they didn't pay attention to any of the signs when they got on Highway 30th and um, on Highway 1. So it's just, I agree. I think it starts up there. They should have done something a little bit different, but we can't be aware. Uh, now, now that you said that, when you come down Highway 1 and you're going north, there's no signs that say Lisbon. They say Clinton. Mm -hmm. No, nope, they're not till the next exit. So we have our own exit, but Mount Vernon has their own exit, so they did not. No, 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 on Highway 1. You come from Highway 1 from Solon. Mm -hmm. It says Clinton. Two, yeah. two signs that say Lisbon. If you're coming Clinton, on the bypass to Highway 1, yeah. there's no signs that say Lisbon either. Well, no comment. I mean, I don't know. Do we? How do we get signs that let them at least know that that's the bypass to get to Lisbon? They had no intention of putting a Lisbon sign there. It was they were their intent was to put it at the next exit. But I can I can contact them and ask. So, I mean, it can't be that hard. Seems like both exits ought to say Mount Vernon and yeah. Lisbon exit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I'll reach out to them. We did get the road closed ahead sign removed finally. Uh, they had one right in between Casey's and Whitey's, so mm. the trucks and cars thought the road was closed before you know there was no other street like Lisbon Boulevard. They didn't know that was there, so they were turning around in the parking lots and it was causing a lot of chaos, so I finally got them to remove those. And Amy, you would probably know better than anybody, but have we seen a lot more anything? I mean, what are you guys seeing? I feel like I've been hearing people about the deer and everything like that. Have, has there been a lot of... I have not. I can honestly say I don't believe there's been any kind of uh, car deer accidents on that stretch um, into open. Um, to be honest with you, tonight's my first call out there. And that was for this time I didn't want to go so, I'm sure is a lot less traffic though, like in Brothers, you know, that, that area. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Hopefully the school has a lot less. Hmm. And the deer probably are moving closer into town. Um, we were on Mount Vernon Road the other day by the new high Yeah. There was three deer right in front of us. Yeah, yeah there so always are a lot because there. of the new housing. There's a lot of construction going on there yeah. too. Okay, John, did I ask you yet if you had anything? Yep, yep. Yep. Did I ask every day ask you? Not yet. Okay, not no, your turn. I don't have anything other than thank you for your service all these no, years. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, anybody else got anything? Meeting adjourned. One thing, read this thing in here about Evansdale.